Hi, today's video is for people who are having knee pain and are looking for a couple simple exercises just to relieve the pain. So <clears throat> just a little bit about the knee joint. The knee joint primarily moves forward and back. So when you kick your knee up and back, that's pretty much all it wants to do. However, the knee joint can also rotate and bend side to side. Too much of this excessive motion is what can cause irritation inside the knee. The next question is what leads to this motion? Well, unfortunately for the knee joint, the knee joint is pretty much only wants to move up in one direction, but it's stuck between two other joints, the hip and the ankle, which move in a ton of directions, right? So if you think about the hip itself, it moves to the side, in and out, it moves forward and back, and it even rotates. And same thing for the ankle, up and down, in and out, and it can actually rotate as well. So both joints can do full circles. And the knee joint is in the middle, only wanting to move forward and back. So you can imagine how much stress it could potentially place on the knee when you're trying to do things and it's moving in all different directions. So being able to control your hip and your ankle to reduce knee pain is key. We're going to cover all that in another video because it's a little more complicated, but today I just want to show you two exercises directly for the knee for this quad muscle that can help stabilize the joint and reduce some pain. And the two exercises are for the quad. So the quad muscle is it goes all the way through the thigh, attaches into this tendon here, which goes into the kneecap, which goes all the way down to this the tibia right here. So just imagine <clears throat> when you're squatting down, what prevents you from just falling right to the ground is your quad, because your quad comes down and it grabs onto this bone and it pulls you back up. So every time you're squatting, the quad muscle pulls you back up. Every time you're going downstairs, the quad muscle pulls you back up and it keeps the joint tight. And if that quad muscle is not firing to do its job, that's when it, there's uncontrolled, quicker movement, there's more rotation, there's more play in the knee causing pain. So let's take a look at the two exercises. So Mike, come over here. So my brother Mike has decided to help us today. So you're gonna lay down here and just put that under your knee. I'm gonna actually bring this camera closer so you can see. So this is called the quad set. So for the quad set, you want a towel that's anywhere between maybe an inch up to three inches, depending on the size of the person. And what you want to do is to tell them to push the back of their knee into that towel while keeping their heel still on the table. And when you push it down, go ahead, push down. I want you to think about making this muscle really, really tight and holding it for 10 seconds because you can actually use other muscles in the hip to push down. So we want them to, to focus their energy on tightening this muscle. And you can even, Mike, go ahead, touch, your, touch the muscle. You should feel that with a lot of tension in it if you're doing it right. And then relax. And then you push down again. Cool, you can move your hand. And then you would hold that for 10 seconds. And usually we tell people to do this for about 10 times and maybe do a couple sets of it. The other thing is sometimes people will push down, they tell you their knee hurts. Sometimes it's as simple as just building a little extra space under there with more towels and then having them do the quad set. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the additional exercise. So Mike, why don't you stand up? Get that band out. Okay. And then don't forget this towel. Behind the knee. So now this exercise is very similar, same concept. He's gonna have the involved leg a little bit in front of the other one, and he's gonna put the band right behind his knee, the towel's just for cushion, and you're gonna push back. Again, tighten up this quad muscle, you can put your hand on it to feel if it's tight, and make sure it's doing all the work, because your glute can actually do help with this also, and we don't wanna work on the glute, we want this knee quad to work. Hold it for 10 seconds, and then relax it, and go through a couple reps of that. Now, the difference between this one and the other one is that this is more functional, it's weight bearing. So when you're walking, when you're going up and down stairs, when you're bending, you're squatting, whatever it is that you're doing, carrying bags, your body weight is loaded through the knee joint. 
and then the quad has to work to stabilize the knee. So we usually use the quad set on the table as a starter exercise just to get the muscle activated and going. But as soon as possible, we want to get them up to here to do it in a functional um, manner. So there you have it. Those are the two exercises. They're pretty simple. You can do them every day. It won't take up much of your time and it should really help to stabilize the knee. Now, remember, there will be one other exercise. I'm really focusing on the hip so or one other video. So just look for that video and um, then you'll pretty much have a complete picture of what you could do for the knee. Thank you.